Well, a good first half there. And what about that first goal, Tommy? One for the record books, I shouldn't wonder. Oh, I don't know. Oh. <laughs> well, wrong manager. They'll be debating that one in the pubs and clubs of Luton for some time. Oh, yes. Good first half, wasn't it? You know, a lot of intelligent running off the ball, isn't it? Mm. Marred only by the crowd disturbances, you know. Does alcohol have a part to play? It certainly does in my life, especially at Christmas and New Year. <laughs> well, thankfully, scenes like that are largely a thing of the past. Oh, luckily we don't see those rampaging gangs of skinheads. Oh, skinheads, you know. Oh, Headskins, baldies, teddy boys. Frightening, you know. Groups of them. Oh, terrifying. Wasps. They're frightening too, aren't they? Mm. Especially in the car. <laughs> but you know, hooliganism. Mm. Never underestimate the power of ignorance plus alcohol. Look at the word. Are they all on drugs? Hard to say, really. But you know, it's bad language, isn't it? You know, it's thievery and stealing. Uh, stealery, the uh, cutlery. Uh, violence and crime. Call Nick Ross. Why? Does he have the answers? No. <laughs> oh, yes, thanks, Ron, but we don't really want to draw on that aspect, do we? I do. It's a fundamental lack of respect for their elders, isn't it? You know, far cry from small boys in the park, jumpers for goalposts, mortal fear of parky. Who can blame them? Small boys in the hut. Hmm? Possibly. Don't quote me on that. But, you know, have we failed the youth? Have we given them enough positive direction? Self-respect, self-belief. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. I can really move from my head right down to my blue suede shoes. Isn't it, Rubets, 1973? Marvellous.